Hello, my name is Al Ziquez and I'm a captain with the Pembroke Pines Police Department and I oversee our Animal Assistance Program. Our Animal Assistance Program was created in 2011 um, by one of our sergeants who recognized that there was a problem within our community with dogs that were either lost or abandoned. And our procedure at the time was when we were notified uh, that these dogs were located, our officers would respond and contact animal control so that they can pick up the dog and take it into their custody. Unfortunately, if the dogs aren't claimed within a reasonable period of time, uh, animal control sometimes has to euthanize these dogs. And that was a concern because oftentimes uh, a pet owner can go on vacation and uh, leave someone to babysit their dogs and the dogs could escape. And if they were gone for a prolonged period of time, by the time they get back from vacation, the dog could have already been euthanized. So. In response to that concern, uh, our sergeant decided to create this animal assistance program and slowly but surely the program has grown to what it is today. We also have partnered with Pooches and Pines, which is a not-for-profit uh, volunteer organization, 501c3, that helps us with the adoption process and housing these dogs until uh, they ultimately get adopted or we find the rightful owner if it takes longer than uh, the amount of time that we're able to house them temporarily here in the police department. Since the inception of our program, we've been able to successfully place 700 dogs either with their rightful owners or with foster care or through adoptions. My name is Tracy Calvino. I work for the City of Pembroke Pines for 16 years. I do scheduling and payroll, and I am on the administration for Pooches and Pines, and we do everything for the dogs, from walking them to doing fundraisers. And We have about 25, 30 people on the program. Everybody has their own thing that they do. Some people will hang signs, some people come in and walk the dogs, some people, their function is to take home towels and wash towels, some people will pick up dog food or cat food when we need it. You know, everybody has their own thing that they volunteer in their own way, but everybody helps. You know, some people only come out when there's fundraisers, but everybody helps in their own way. It is a department effort. It definitely is. And this is Jasper, who went on the news yesterday, so we're hoping he gets adopted. He's been with us two weeks, but um, no owners have come forward for him either. And the first thing we do is we check him for the microchips, and then as quick as we can, we get signs up for them in the areas where we found them with a picture of them saying where we found them and hoping that someone comes forward saying, hey, that's my dog or I know where that dog belongs. Facebook, because it gets so many shares and sometimes somebody else shares it and somebody sees it. But Facebook, honestly, gets the best Wonderful. response which has been great for us. We have so many followers that it's just, it's been great. This is the new kennel. And actually the police department um, had some funds from confiscated funds and they purchased the, the animal assistance program purchased for the animal assistance program. Wow. So this is where it'll be. It's gonna have the four runs. It has the little doors on the side. It'll be air conditioned and it has the plumbing already just waiting for everything to be finished inside. We work with Davy Creek Animal Hospital, Dr. Tanya Higgins, and she is amazing. She has taken care of so many of our dogs that have been so sick, and she has nursed them back to health like if they were her own children. And uh, I highly, highly recommend her if anybody needs a vet. This is all donations, except for the dog food that we try to keep all the same brand. Um, but most of it is donations. This is our temporary housing for all our, the food and the supplies that we need. We rely solely on donations. So anything that you can donate, we always need collars, leashes, uh, dog food, treats, anything like that. And we can always use donations of cash. You can go to our website at www.poochesandpines.com or you can go to our Facebook page and there's a link there to our PayPal account also. We rely fully on the support of the community and the volunteers within our police department 
and uh, volunteers uh, from the community that help us uh, to make this program a complete success. And we would also like to spread the word to other uh, law enforcement agencies in the region uh, to take on a, a similar challenge uh, because they too can be very successful in placing these uh, dogs that are either lost or abandoned with uh, a forever home.